Hey, Facebook family. So I am inside of Pilo Market right off of Owens for the first time. Um, my family and I have been living out here in Las Vegas for 11 years, and I have not once been tempted to come in here um, until today. And I am ecstatic to be in here because before I started taking this alkaline life as seriously as I do now, I wasn't paying attention to uh, fresh fruits and vegetables because I was mixing in meats too. So it didn't really matter what the price point was. The grocery stores were, you know, the nice and polished grocery stores. I grew up on the north side of Chicago, so I'm used to a certain quality, which is a certain environment, which keeps me away from uh, being in being comfortable with the melanated environment. Um, it, it did keep me comfortable, uncomfortable. Let me correct myself. Because um, I didn't know I was a child, I was growing up. And that was when my um, melanated separation began in my childhood. And it, it was little things like going to the grocery store in my real community that was not a community built for me uh, that allowed for me to be oblivious to what I'm aware of right now. Fast forwarding to right now's reality. Uh, and thank you for the love. I am very much in love with the alkaline lifestyle because it has saved my life. My mom and I were just talking the other day. I haven't been sick. I've been sick. And I work hard. I, I've always worked out the way I work out now always because as a child I realized that it was a distraction mentally I could focus on the pain coming from my muscles over the pain coming from my condition and I had endometriosis from the time I was 12 to last year 18 months ago I got introduced to Dr. Sabi 12 months ago or no it's it's the end of July now so yeah maybe it is 12 months ago now I decided to take a leap of faith um, no, it was June of last year. I took a leap of faith, and I didn't go back to the doctor for another um, dose of Depo-Provera, which is the shot, the birth control shot. I was on the birth control shot from the time I was 13 till I was 20-something, and then the doctor found, no, it was, yeah, after I had my son is when I got taken off Depo, so from 13 for, it was 12 years that I was on Depo Povera. When I told the doctor that I was on it for 12 years, he was like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Your, the value of your calcium uh, is, is being compromised now. So now you're uh, susceptible to osteoporosis. And you have to go above and beyond to make sure that you are getting an accurate amount of iron. Also, at that time, I had irregular pap smears. I tested positive for the HPV virus, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? And they're just telling me, oh, this means something abnormal could be happening in your uterus, so we're going to test it. You're going to have a biopsy done every six weeks so that we can scare the shit out of you and tell you that uh, you're safe this time, this visit, but come back in six more weeks because we think that you could have cancer, okay? Um... So yeah, Dr. Sabi suggested to stop with the birth control. Um, my, my last draw though, honestly, before I tell you the Dr. Sabi part, after I had my son, I got on uh, the IUD, uh, five-year birth control, I had Mirena. I didn't really have any problems for the five years that I had it, but until the end, that January, I had all kinds of internal infections in my uterus um, and within my reproductive system. Um, within those organs and it was very uncomfortable my doctor who's treated me since I moved to Las Vegas is a man and I've always the times that I was fighting my illnesses I felt ashamed of my body um, which is why mentally I decided to stick with uh, education and and learning as much as I could about everything because I was ashamed of my body uh, anyway I had to have this IUD removed. The doctor never suggested that these infections were in lieu of my IUD. Uh, I later found out that that's definitely why.
So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I had the IUD removed. I don't remember what part of the story I was leading off on, but, but um, it was embedded in my uterus, and I had to have it surgically removed. Um, a couple months later, that happened in June. A um, couple months later, by November, I had to have two hernias corrected um, and a GERD procedure. And that's when I decided to take Dr. Sabi seriously because I was tired of my pain and I was not taking the medicine no matter how much pain I was in. Uh, anyway, that's where I established my love for fruits and vegetables. And you can go to your local grocery store right here and support. This is it. <laughs> I looks like I am super duper excited to see what I see. I don't know if um, if these products have seeds in them or not, but I love the fact that it's all fresh food and I love the price point. I love the community area that it's located in. Um, look over here on the other side, like this is super duper dope. And I'm happy to be in this environment right now. Now, and check out this side over here, too. This is what we should be eating all day, every day, people. Even if it's the acidic fruits and vegetables, it's good to start somewhere. You could start limiting stuff after you get acclimated. Now, message to the local farmers out here. Let's get together with some of these grocery stores and get the local produce here. Let's get real organic stuff that is normal. Let's get some alkaline stuff in here. Farmers, stand up, man. What do y'all have to do to get a meeting with whoever the, 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 the grocer is here, whoever purchases stuff? I don't even know what the structure is for a grocery store. But I challenge you growers out there, you farmers out there in the local Las Vegas neighborhood to find out. Come here, talk to somebody, and get the stuff that we need in these communities. Because now that I know it looks like this in here, with stuff that may or may not be, bad, be good for me, I feel comfortable with telling my connections to come here. Your services could be useful here. Everybody can, can eat, all right? That's my teachable moment for today. Uh, love and light and lots of peace.